An interesting feature in QuickTime is its ability to play images in a sequence. One of the things we can do with this feature is create an animation. Here on my desktop, I have a folder of still images that when sequenced will make a cartoon figure jump. In order to turn this folder of pictures into an animation, I need to come up to File in the menu bar and from the drop down menu select Open Image Sequence. This window will appear and all I need to do is select the folder I want here. You can see all my files inside this folder, but I only need to select the folder itself, so just hit Choose Media. This small preference box will appear, and here at the top we have Resolution. I'm going to leave mine as it is, but if you click this down arrow, you do have more options to choose from. Next we have Frame Rate. 60 is great for filming video, but for my animation it's going to be too fast. So from this drop down menu, I'm going to select 24. And finally for encoding, I'm going to keep this the same. However, you have more options from this drop down menu if you need them. When you're happy with your settings, hit OK. And here is my figure. If I press play, you can see that it does one cycle of my images to create this cartoon performing a jump. To make this play for longer, I can come up to view in the menu bar and from the drop down menu select loop. And now when I press play, my sequence will be repeated until I come back up to view in the menu bar and click loop again. So let's save this animation by coming up to file in the menu bar and from the drop down menu hitting save. This window will appear for us to name our file. Let's name this video jump, select my desktop as location and hit save. So now that's done, let's go to my desktop to preview it by clicking the file and hitting the spacebar. As you can see, it is just one jump long, so I'm going to show you two ways to extend this animation to make it longer. The first way is by adding another clip to the end of this clip. I do this by coming back to my original project in QuickTime, up to view in the menu bar and from the drop down menu, select show clips. As you can see below my video window, the clip to the video is now visible. So next, I'm going to come back up to edit in the menu bar and from the drop down menu select add clip to end. This window will appear and I will select the jump video I just saved earlier and hit choose media. As you can see, I now have two clips in the timeline, meaning that this video will now be double the length. However, that will only make it two jumps. So the second way we can extend this animation is by duplicating the files within the timeline. We do this by holding down command and hitting the letter A to select all clips. Next, while holding down the option key, drag your clips to either side of another clip. You'll see a gap appear and just release your clips into it. Now you have double the amount of clips as before. So you can just keep repeating this process until you're happy. To finish off, I want to add some music to this animation. So while still in this view, I'm going to drag this audio file from my desktop over my clips until I see this box appear and then release it there. Now that's finished, I hit done. As you can see, my clip is now 18 seconds long and when I hit play, you can hear the music we added as well as seeing the animation. So let's now save this. When you come up to file in the menu bar, you will notice that there is not a save option as save is greyed out, but we are still able to export and share it. Today I'm going to show you one more way to save your video and that's by hitting close. This will prompt a save window that will act as an export but be saved with the same resolution as hitting save. So from this window, let's call this video jumping and my desktop has already been selected as my location, so just hit save. Now it's on my desktop, let's double click it and see if it works. And there you have it. That was one of the ways to use image sequencing in QuickTime. I encourage you to experiment to see what you can create. Check out the next video where I'll be showing you some of the editing features in QuickTime.